so excited. Where are you going? To a date. A date. It's my date. We are getting ready to head to Costco for our big monthly grocery shopping trip. And I have a lot to show you. Last month we did not go on a big trip. We ended up at the end of the month going on a small trip to Costco um, and then stocked up a few things from Aldi and I will show all that to you. But right now we are taking just Lydia and Everett and going for our trip. And Jason is so kind to go with me because I really did not want to go alone. How do they close? 8.30, I think. It's Jason. Three cents. Probably half dog food. Look at all that. Uh, I was yeah. excited the bakery lady gave me some empty buckets for my egg water glassing. So that's pretty cool. I have a lot to show you in this video. So last month I did not do a grocery haul video. We just used what we had here. I had a lot of surplus on some things, and so we spent our money elsewhere. Um, I did get just a few things from grocery stores toward the end of June. So I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you what we bought from Costco for the next month. So we are a family of 12 but we do have a homestead here and so we are producing our own milk, our own meat and eggs. I have a 3,000 square foot garden and so all our produce the, for the most part is coming from the garden. And what else am I forgetting? Um, Pigs, yeah, you're right, James. We have pigs, we have chickens, we have rabbits, uh, cows, you know, all those things. So we eat really well from the farm. I'm also going to be picking up an Azure Standard order on Friday, so I will tack that onto the end of this video. I'm just gonna show you it all. We're gonna, we're gonna see all of it. But let's start with what I just bought from Costco. I am trying something different for lunches and having kids rotate making lunches. And so I went ahead and I bought three, three packs of this nitrate free um, deli meat because that we're going to use that for sandwiches as well as some cheese. I make my own sourdough bread so that will be the bread for it. You won't see any bread products at all because I bake it all from scratch. Um, I am making noodles now too, which so many of you suggested to me, and it is really easy. You're right. Got some brown sugar. This will probably take me a year to go through. It's just every once in a while you have a recipe that I like to have that for. The cane sugar is for uh, feeding my scoby when I make kombucha. And then I also am um, getting some different sugars from Azure, which you will see later in this video. Got one of these pink salmon and some tunas. This is for another uh, lunch that we can just have tuna salad sandwiches. Oh, Got a box of raisins. Uh, a few more of these grass-fed butters. We're also producing our own butter now from the cream from our cow. It's just, you know, from one jersey. They give a lot of cream, but you only get so much. And with as many people as we have, it's just still not enough. Got one salt. I was really running low on salt. Um, I also am doing a lot of canning and pickling, and so I had picked up a bunch of vinegars and just a plain sea salt from Walmart, and I did not take a video of that, but I got all of that for um, canning pickles. We have two, four, six, seven, one's already gone, so eight bags of apples. In addition to this, we were blessed recently, somebody gave us a bunch of sweet potatoes and watermelons, um, and one case of bananas. We were given all of that, so that adds to this for our fruit needs for the month. Also, these two big bags of oranges. My table's a little disorganized here, but that's all of our fruit. Got four bags of organic tortilla chips. It's kind of like our fun junk food that we do. And then um, two, two packs of lemon juice. I still have some left from the last um, batch that I bought, but I like to keep a lot of this on hand for making my own kind of lemonade type drink. Um, one of these simply ketchups, a coconut oil, 
one avocado oil and three of the olive oil. I have been drying, since we're in the middle of growing season, I have been drying herbs and making my own oil infusions to be able to make salves from. So that's where the bulk of this oil will go. Four uh, yogurts, the organic Greek yogurt. Then I got two packages of these organic mushrooms because I have some kids that really enjoy mushrooms and I haven't bought any in a while. Four maple syrups. I know there's only three here. This one was already taken. So when it comes to maple syrup, we are really excited because some friends of ours are moving to Missouri from New York. And in New York, they lived near a maple syrup farm. And so they um, are bringing us back five gallons of maple syrup. That's how much I bought. Five gallons of real yummy maple syrup. Are you excited? I also have two two packs of peanut butter and some of these uh, dark chocolate chips that are sweetened with stevia and erythritol. I had a friend who recently shared with me a podcast about oxalates. It was a really mind blown podcast about the problem with oxalates. And you know, I had had some kidney challenges on and off in the past and other health issues. And so I listened to this podcast and it really talked about the dangers of eating too many oxalates. And one of the biggest things that it really talked about is this, um, the smoothie trend that has gone through in the last decade with lots of spinach and blueberries, both of which are super high in oxalates. And actually we did a ton of smoothies for a long time, which kind of makes sense now that I'm looking at some of the health things we've struggled with. So um, we've, we're cutting back on oxalates. There's, you know, you can look up high oxalate foods, foods online. Um, I do still have some blueberries left in the freezer and you know, it's all things in moderation. So the way people used to eat would, you know, in season was that those kind of things were available once in a while, but not in large amounts every day like we can do now with things like smoothies and buying giant tubs of spinach from Costco. So anyway, all that to say, if you're seeing a slight change in some of our food choices, the change reflects that podcast that we listened to and all the research backing it up. Okay, I'm out in the barn continuing with the things that I didn't drag in the house. Um, one pa big package of toilet paper a free and clear laundry detergent. We have one bag of cat food and I think maybe six bags of dog food. I'll have to double check on that. We went shopping last night, puts the, you know, things like this away and I just didn't feel like dragging them back out. So I'm walking you out here to show you what's in the freezer. It is da -da -da -da, seven boxes of gluten-free pizzas. This is for those occasional times when we go on a date night and I don't feel like cooking for my kids. They get to make themselves some frozen pizzas. They love it, it's so much fun. We decided to get all gluten-free this time. Um, and so, there you go. They're really delicious. Those cauliflower crusts with the veggies or the meat toppings, they are so good. Even our kids who eat both, um, you know, your regular wheat pizzas and these, say that they think that these taste even better. So that's pretty amazing. While I'm out here, I'm opening up the next freezer to bring in some meat to thaw out because I'm efficient like that, you guys. This is my beef freezer. So I have a beef and venison freezer. Some of this is venison that we were given. And I have a chicken rabbit freezer. And then I have a pork freezer that also has other things like pizzas in it because we don't always have as much pork as we do things like beef. My Amazon subscribe and save for the month just arrived and I'm going to show you what I got. So right off the bat I realized that, oops, I had forgotten to take these off of subscribe and save. <laughs> um, it has been months since I put these omega-3 gummies on subscribe and save and I probably did like an every six month kind of delivery thing and didn't realize they were still on there. So here they are again. I'm sure the kids will be thrilled about it because they are really tasty, but Mommy. not something that I had planned to get. Mommy. And I got two of them, so there you go. I also have a toddler who thinks it's funny to say poopy, as you could hear in the background. I also have two bottles of the B Complex um, supplement, the capsules. One big bottle of the colloidal silver spray. In a box? Are you here to help? In a box. Are you here to help me? Girl, In a girl? box. This is the vitamin code raw iron. That's what I took to keep my iron up. 
in the Can box. I... What's in the box? Maybe Ooh. it's my present. <laughs> Everything's birthdays for Lydia. Okay, hang on. Let me cut that open. It is a three pack of cacao powder. I used to get this from Azure Standard, but they haven't had it for a while. So I'm now on auto ship for this. Um, also got two cases of diapers, a size three and a size five. We're actually planning to potty train this guy. Benjamin, are you ready to go on the potty? No! Yeah. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Over yeah. here we have uh, three packages of Epsom salt. And I guess that's it for this month's subscribe and save. You want to sit down here? Okay, we just picked up our Azure Standard order and I'm going to quickly show you what we've got. This is one bag of, or one box of frozen organic corn. We have this pizza seasoning. I bought the big one pound bag. It's I actually... <laughs> Benjamin, you're going to cut the boxes open. He went and found a butter knife. Um, it's actually a, a much better deal, the price of it, um, when you buy the one pound bag. And I wanted to share some with my dad because he really likes it too. We love this sprinkled on eggs. It's so good with eggs. I don't, I don't know why, but it's just the flavor is delicious. We like it even better with eggs than we do with pizza. Okay, buddy, you keep working on that. Okay, I've got a huge bag of garlic. So I grew garlic in my garden this year, but I didn't get quite the turnout that I wanted because I like to save some back for planting. Um, you're supposed to plant garlic around the end of October, beginning of November, and then you harvest in early July. So I bought a big bag of their organic garlic, which is much cheaper than buying seed garlic. And it works the same way. You break them apart and plant the little cloves. This is a big bag of their all-purpose flour, um, Baker's Craft wheat flour. Really like that for sourdough bread. We have two of these blocks of cheese, the mozzarella cheese. They have been out of the raw milk cheese, uh, so I haven't been able to get that, but we did get two packages of that. I think they're five pound packages. One bag of Himalayan pink salt. I'm trying to build my stash back up of salt. And then two bags of turbinado sugar. Now over here, unfortunately, one of my honey jars came open. So I just emailed customer service about that um, and sent them a picture. You can see it is leaking down into this protective bag that they put it in. The other one is fine. Oh, so heavy. This is the wildflower honey, which we really like. Um, this is 12 pounds. We don't quite go through two 12 pounds in a month, um, but I like to just have it on hand. And then the last thing I got here, I should open these for you. This is organic blackstrap molasses. A friend of mine gave me some kefir grains and she fed them with molasses. And so I'm gonna give that a try. So I went ahead and got a gallon of molasses. The other item we got this month was our bag of Shepherd's Crook coffee. This is the 40 ounce bag and you can get it on um, an auto ship that it comes every month. This is their new Guatemala uh, beans that just came in and they are so good. Really, really like this month. So you can go ahead and um, that is the current, that's the only Guatemala I think that they have on their website. So you can order it there. And as always, you can use our discount codes. Um, it is Crakey10 for 10% 10 off. And also, if you've never used it before, there's a one-time discount code for 25% off an order, and that is the Crakey 25. Now, it's not available on like the, you know, bulk orders or this or the auto ship or anything like that. But, but um, just your regular bags of coffee beans, you can use those discount codes. Shepherd'sCrookCoffee.com, I believe, is their um, yeah, it's their website. Okay, you saw what we just bought for the month coming up. Now I'm going to take you back in time and we're going to show you what we bought last month for our little fill-in grocery shopping trip. And also, we went to some thrift stores and Bella is going to walk you through what we purchased at those thrift stores. I got new clothes. That's right. For our fruit this month, we got 12 bags of apples. They're three pounds a piece plus six bunches of bananas. In addition to this, when I ran to Aldi, I had bought seven little honeydew melons and two bags of their apples, which are five pounds, no, 
I take that back. I think they're four pound bags. And a watermelon and a couple bunches of bananas from them. So that was like a week and a half ago. I got four boxes of pizzas. This is our kind of one junk food for the kids that we get. So I got two of these four cheese and two of the thin crust sausage. And that will be used uh, when Jason and I have date night. We get to have pizza night. Some of these things are missing, but I'll tell you what they are. So I have two yogurts. I got two yogurts, and this one's even half eaten. <laughs> um, and three of these cheeses. I don't normally get this cheese, but we really like it. We've already broken into one of them. Uh, of course, it doesn't replace the raw cheddar cheese that I got from Azure Standard, but it is not available right now. And I did like this one. It was a nice flavor, and it was on instant rebate. That's why I chose this one initially. These were $5.00 for these two pound blocks. For butter, we have been enjoying the Kirkland grass-fed butter. Last month was the first month I tried it. And I actually found that it lasts longer. It's a more rich flavor and we seem to use less of it. So even though it's twice the price, it lasts longer than this one. I did grab one of these just for baking because I still can't bring myself to use this twice as expensive butter if I'm doing random bakings. Back here we have two maple syrups and I got some more granulated garlic. Um, I was completely out otherwise I would have gotten that from Azure Standard. One bag of sugar. That was one of my main motivations for going actually. I couldn't make kombucha because I was totally out of sugar. So you can see it's already been broken into because I got that going right away. One avocado oil and one olive oil. I have been using this to make some herbal tinctures. And then two two packs of lemon juice. Two of the um, big vinegar bottles and I actually also had three on my shelves out there but it's pickle season. I'm canning a bunch of pickles to hold us over for the winter. So I got some vinegar. Also, while I was at Aldi, I bought five of these little tiny goat cheese um, packets. We are going to be, for our history, we're going to be having a Greek party, and they said to get some Greek things. So I have some grapes that we were actually given. <laughs> so I have those out in the refrigerator, and then I have some these little goat cheese, and I forgot to pick up some olives, and we'll probably do some homemade crackers to go with them. I don't know. It's just for something fun. I also grabbed two pepper jack cheeses while I was there. Again, that pepper jack, the raw pepper jack cheese from Azure Standard, we really enjoyed. Although next time I get it, I'm going to have to freeze some of it right away because it was way too much. It started getting bad by the end. We don't go through five pounds of pepper jack cheese like we go through five pounds of cheddar cheese. So This was on instant rebate for $25 for this one and a half pound of collagen peptides. I think Amazon price is like 40 so that was a major deal. Got one of those. Then I got a few things from our local um, thrift store. This is a tongue oil. I didn't research it. I don't know anything about it. I just grabbed it because we, this table has never been finished and it's, it needs something on it. So I don't know if this is going to be good to use on it or if it's toxic. I don't know, but I was in a hurry and so I just grabbed it. We'll research a little bit about that. They had an animal dewormer for a dollar. And then they had these three random glycerin bottles, which I'm going to, again, use to make some herbal tinctures. I was really excited to find these. They're food grade glycerins. I'm going to use these instead of an alcohol base for making um, medicinal tinctures. So I have two of these. This is just what they, they had a couple more of this size there, but I grabbed two of these. And then one of this different brand. It's twice as much and it was $2. They're all food grade all super cheap. Let me show you some of the things that we got from Amazon this month. In addition to this, we've got trash bags and uh, gallon Ziploc bags and diapers. So I bought a box of their dish soap. I have really enjoyed the one that I'm getting from Azure Standard, but again, I didn't place an order from them this month, so and I was completely out. I just got some of this to put in storage for times when I run out. We got a three pack of the raw cacao powder um, for supplements. I've got some more of this demanose and cranberry supplement. 
I got this Bee Supreme for me and a couple of kids who can swallow um, vitamins that don't want to take the other new one that I found, which is this one. So if you watched one of our last videos, you would have seen that I've been having a little time of it trying to eliminate natural flavors from our kids' supplements. So because we have... Um, MTHFR in the family uh, genetically, I want to give my kids a methylated B vitamin. I don't give them any other multivitamin at all. But this is something that I want to give them. So I found this one. It's Mary Ruth's. Many of you recommended it. It is not completely without natural flavors, um, but it is a step up. So it is uh, organic natural cherry extract. So that is a much, uh, much better thing than the really generic natural flavors that was on the other vitamins that you don't even know what it is. So this is drops and I got one to try out but I'm going to obviously need a bunch more bottles because I have a lot of kids taking this. So what I did, um, adult serving size is 15 drops and so I told the younger kids to take the number of drops of their age. I thought that would be a good way to kind of balance out an appropriate amount for smaller bodies. So I've been really happy with it. I will put all of these links on our Amazon storefront, which you can find in um, the description under the description under the video. Also got a couple of packages of the dental flossers, some Pomona's pectin. This is just to hold me over. I ordered a half pound of it, which is so expensive, but hey, it helps you to preserve jams without the sugar. So got two little boxes because the half pound was going to take like two weeks to come. I got this. Um, this is a concealer. I've been switching. I've been switching the remainder of my makeup over to just more pure ingredients. So this is Eco Bella's uh, concealer. I got the big 30 count of these dry erase markers. The kids use these when they're working on math. I have little individual dry erase boards, and so that's what they use those for. Another shampoo. I've got this product. This is the Fembendazole that, again, you would have heard about if you watched one of our old videos. Um, we talked with a local vet about deworming and how, um, and I've already known that it's important for people to do, you know, like twice a year. And so I got this Fembendazole, um, which is has been known to be an amazing cancer fighter, but you can also take it as preventative. I mean, there's just so much. Go research it. Is your mind will be blown. I got another pack of these Swedish stitch cloths. These things are fantastic. They look like just these hard sheets, but when you wet them, they get really soft and fun to clean with for dishes. And you can wash them in your um, washing machine over and over and over. I've had the last set for probably two years. Also, I've got one package of these. Uh, we use these for scrubbing pots. They are wonderful. I can't live without them. And I think that's it for the Amazon. A few more things that I didn't bring in the house. One package of toilet paper and four bags of the organic tortilla chips. Okay, so you guys, we went to a new thrift store today, so we are going to share that with you. All the clothing at this one thrift store was 25 cents, so that was fun. To start it off, we have these little pairs of shoes uh, for Benjamin. They were a dollar. The boys grabbed a belt, um, and I think he said it was 50 cents. Then the dresses, and like I said, this closes all a quarter piece, so this is a little dress for Lydia. She needs some new ones. Another fun dress, quarter, and skirt. And then a few little bottoms for that. Um, Everett got a little onesie. And then this adorable jumper suit. And um, a couple t-shirts for Lydia. There we go. Lydia and um, then the books there were all a quarter piece so we grabbed these magic tree house books that the kids love okay yep and um, 
some I Survive books. And um, this Kisses from Katie. We had gotten this from the library. But we saw it there, so we thought we should buy it. Um, upcoming birthday, we got some streamers, and that was 25 cents. Then, moving on to Peace Pantry. We found a pair of shoes that um, Papa grabbed. They're $2. I found a pair of pants, um, and the clothes is 50 cents. So I found a pair of pants. Um, I think uh, my dad found two pairs of pants there and then we grabbed a top that we had found for me or for mom there the boys saw these hats they love to match so they got these I believe they were a quarter a piece books at the peace pantry are free so we grabbed some of those um so yep some good ones boxcar children we didn't have this one and this one. And then we had never read this series, so we were going to check these out. A couple of these. And a um, couple gardening books. We we're going to check them out. We can always donate them back if we don't like them. A um, couple things. They got a bell. I think one of the boys grabbed a watch. I think those were each a quarter. Um, we found a set of cookie cutters 25 cents another little items each of these were a quarter that some of the kids grabbed then my dad found a baseball glove and a baseball that they they like to play so they have that a cord my brother grabbed for one of our devices these cups they are uh, disposable coffee cups so they are nice to have on hand for gas and stuff and they were two dollars a packet and we got three uh, we also got this my brother's in the middle of setting it up this kindle um, tablet from there it was from Amazon they get Amazon products and I believe it was ten dollars and it's brand new so that was a good find it came with a case and cord I think you're going to be four soon and that's why you're so silly <laughs> Boom. one more month that's how old I am. Yeah. Well, 400.